Information tonight in the I-Team investigation into a deadly crash involving a Vernon police cruiser. The I-Team was the first to uncover that Vernon police cruisers do not have dash cameras, despite a state mandate requiring them to do so. Channel 3 chief investigative reporter Sam Smick wanted to know if Vernon was the only department. It turns out it's unclear. Surveillance video captured Sunday night's crash between a police cruiser and Nissan Sentra that killed a 26-year-old woman. When asked if there was any dash camera video, Vernon police said their cruisers did not have cameras. But the police accountability law signed in 2020 said all departments were required to have both body cameras and dash cams by July 1, 2022. State Senator Gary Winfield played a big part in the legislation and has a message for police departments. You better get yourself uh, to this space where you're actually complying with the law because sooner or later something can happen. A spokesperson for the town of Vernon says the department has been working to identify funding and vendors for the cameras since February of last year and the cameras should be here in about two weeks. In 2016, the state began funding a program that reimburses police departments for body camera, dash cam, and video storage related expenses. Departments go through the state to access that money. Today, uh, over half a million dollars in um, funding was approved by the Bond Commission to support department's efforts. According to program records, Vernon Police received more than $25,000 in funding in 2017. A spokesperson says that was used for body cameras. Currently, the program reimburses between 30 to 50 percent of costs. There's no excuse for any police department at this point to be saying, well, we didn't know or, or there wasn't money because none of that's true. The problem is we don't know if other departments are in similar situations. While the Police Officer Standards and Training Council says they do check for cameras during the accreditation compliance reviews, those reviews are done every few years. It's unclear if anyone checked all departments for compliance following the July 2022 deadline. There is not an agency I'm aware of that's providing statewide oversight of compliance. Senator Winfield plans to ask for a state agency to track this during the next legislative session. The town of Vernon is using American Rescue Plan money for the cameras, but plans to look at the reimbursement and other grant opportunities. I'm Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.